A military device. Sarah was right. A military device. Sarah was right. This is Dr. Olga Efimova. Come in. Over. What's wrong, Olga? Colonel, the staff are dealing with a patient's revolt upstairs. We need you and your men immediately. Is there a reason your nurses can't take care of it? I'm calling you because they're overwhelmed. You must hurry up. We are starting to lose control of the situation. I hope you're not disturbing us for nothing, Olga Efimova. here. Miss Walker, come quickly. Samiatine, but what's going on? It's Olga. She has brought her soldier friends into the clinic. Just after Steiner fitted Kirk's prosthesis, then the soldiers wanted to stop them from leaving. Steiner refused to listen to them. He kicked up a fuss. So they worked him over. My friend had an attack. Miss Walker. I'm here, Mr. Steiner. You have to save young Kirk. That woman, Olga, she's a real monster, you know. Your enemy and that colonel. Protect the Yukols from those criminals. Make sure they get to their destination. You can count on me, Mr. Steiner. You have to go hide with Steiner. The soldiers mustn't find you. And I wouldn't want you to get in any trouble or be punished once I've left with Kirk. Don't you worry. I'll hide Steiner in one of the secret passages and look after his injuries there. Now go. Save Kirk, Miss Walker. My dear Miss Walker, your medallion, the heart, you know, it's in very good condition. 
It contains a lot of essential data from an XZ-2000 automaton. Everything as it were. You understand, on that particular model, the heart and intelligence were intermingled. So then, it wouldn't take all that much for you to get your friend Oscar back one day. I... Yes, Mr. Steiner. Of course. I'll remember. He's unconscious. I have to wake him up. Kate Walker? What on earth are you doing here? I'll explain later, Kirk. We have to get back to the tribe right away. They're waiting for us to cross the lake. I can't remove these restraints with just my hands. There's a compartment down along the side of the bed. The staff handled it each time they released me.
Not a chance. Get them. Coming back for me, Kate Walker. Did you see how fast I can run on my new leg? Yes, Simon Steiner is definitely a genius craftsman. Your grandfather had another attack, I'm afraid. But Dr. Zamiatine stabilized him and is looking after him. He's got a good chance of making it this time, too. Kate Walker, we have to go. I have to go, Sarah. Thanks for everything you and your grandfather have done for us. No, but thank you, Kate. Here, please take this scarf so that you will remember us. It's magnificent. Thank you, Sarah. Goodbye, Kate Walker. You have underestimated that woman, Dr. Olga Ethimova. Doubtless. But the game isn't over yet, Colonel. Indeed. And we are going to change the rules as well.
I'm not sure drinking at the helm is a great idea, Captain. It's not a great idea to go sailing off into these waters at the Lake Spirit's mealtime either. In fact, it's completely insane. Captain, please don't start talking again about that so-called monster. It's him! It's the lake monster! Oh my god! Not at all, Captain. Look outside. Just what we needed. We can't go around? That will take us off the route for Nahodotsk. We'd end up losing far too much time. We'd be better off trying to use the crystal's breakers to get through the ice instead. Go on down into the machine room and try to start them up. The breakers? What are they? Well, just like the name says, they break the ice. That's what let us operate as a ferry to the amusement park in Baranor, even when the lake was completely frozen. The good old days. When I get down to the machine room, what do I do? Turn on the breakers, lower them down to the ice, and make sure you adjust the power. If you need any help, I can guide you from up here. Take it easy on the bottle while I'm in the machine room, please. I'm counting on you. What on earth? Go and turn on the damn breakers for me now, instead of preaching the good word. All right, I'm going. And on the double, please. Because if we stay stuck like this, we're just like a worm wriggling about on the end of a hook for that monster lurking below us. <laughs> <laughs> 